Hi everyone, this is Manuela and today I want to show you how to implement a simple persistence system in God of War. So here I have a scene with few digit bodies and I have a persistence system that will persist the state in memory of the digit bodies when the scene is loaded and then I can restore the state by pressing enter. So as you can see the digit bodies fall to the ground and then by pressing enter they are uh, taken back to the original position. So to show you how to do that, I will delete all the code and start from scratch. So the, the first thing I would do is create a persistence script. And then in the settings, set the persistence script uh, as autoload. Now we can work on the persistence script. First of all, it will extend a node because every autoload has to extend node. And then I will give it a class name of persistence. I will add uh, two methods. One will be um, save state, and the, the other one will be restore state. And a variable called state, which is of type dictionary. Same state will store the state of the current scene in the state variable. So the first thing I want to do is to clear the state. And uh, I want to iterate all the nodes in a group that I will call persist uh, node group. So I want to iterate for node in get three get nodes in group. Each node this group will have a method that called get uh, persistence info, which will write on an object of type persistence info or object info because uh, I want to make this internal class of persistence so persistence is redundant. Now that I have this object I can use it to get um, a JSON but let's call it state and then I want to set this element to state. So the key will be the path of the node in the state dictionary and I set the content to state or I can just do this. So this will take care of setting the state. All the logic to get the state of a single node will be inside the get state uh, method of object info. And when I want to restore I will Iterate the state dictionary. State object state. Of path, uh, of path. And now, <coughs> what I want to do is get the node for, from the tree. So this will assume the node is already inside the tree, and we are not allowed to remove nodes uh, things simple so and then I will get the persistence info persistence info will have an ingest state to which I will pass this object state here so now all the logic will be in this object info class First of all, we want to have a reference to the object. And then we'll get, we'll have um, get state uh, that we write in the um, dictionary. And we want the list of properties, property names. So 
So to get the state, we um, create a new dictionary. And for each property in property names, we set the uh, element in the dictionary of property name to uh, object of get property name. And then we write on the result uh, for ingest state. We take a uh, state dictionary and we write a void. So the first thing we do is iterate uh, each property name in state and then we call the set method with the property name and state of property name. This will set all the properties. Now, I need to be able to define what the, pro the persistent properties are. To do that, I will add this method. Which will add to the class itself. And just push back the property name and write on itself. What I also want to do is maybe assert that the property is inside the object. And that should be it for the persistent script. Now we can move to another script which I call persistent rigid body and assign to each rigid body. This script will extend rigid body to D and uh, have a ready function. We need to make sure that this node is persisted. And to do that, we add another method here persist node add to Now we can go back and persist the same node. And now we add the get um, persistence info method. Get persistence info method we return um, persistence dot object info. And now we can declare this object info new self um, and add a few properties. First one is the global transform. Then linear velocity and angle velocity. And we need to make sure we have a path structure that takes the object we want to persist here. Now, the main node in the scene I have created will call persistence.save state uh, when the scene is loaded, and then it will call restore state when I press enter. And if everything is correct, uh, it should be able to restore the state. As you can see, it restores the state whenever I press enter to the original state. That's it for this simple tutorial. And in the next one, I will expand on this system to handle nodes that have been deleted and handle nodes that um, have um, more complex properties. So object properties that are not directly serializable and uh, how to save the state uh, to the disk. Uh, if you like my content, please uh, 
like and subscribe if you dislike it dislike the video and uh, see you next time